Hello everyone. I thought I would share with you some granola. And this is going to be more of the chunky granola, not the real loose granola. So first we're going to put in a half a cup of oil. oil. I should have pre-measured. I never do that, do I? Uh, half a cup of honey. And this is some local honey. And I put a sill pat on a uh, cookie sheet. everyone doing all that weather is all over the Northeast I don't think I could live up in that it's too much for me okay. Need a third of a cup of brown sugar A third. It's not a little crikey. I need more honey. I used the wrong measuring cup. <laughs> I'm going to use brown sugar in this. So it's a half a cup of oil, a half a cup of honey, a third of a cup of sugar, and I'm going to be using a tablespoon of, or a teaspoon not a tablespoon, teaspoon of vanilla and I have my own homemade vanilla and that's not easy after the honey being in there brown sugar stuck and I feel like a sticky mess I'm going to work on that, having things measured out first, I swear. And I always say that, don't I? So my vanilla, and this is my homemade vanilla. And that's a teaspoon. Oh, it smells so good. A teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to need some salt half a teaspoon of salt and then you mix all of this together until the oil and the sugar have kind of come together kinda. it won't completely dissolve I don't think but it'll come together pretty well and then you're going to need five cups of oats and three cups of any kind of flavoring you want. That could be, I'm going to use some dried cranberries and cherries, and I roughly chopped up some almonds, cashews, and hazelnuts. You can put chocolate chips, you can put coconut, you can put dried fruit, um, anything you like. You'll need three cups of whatever you want to uh, season or flavor flavor your granola with. One lump there. I keep a 
terracotta piece in my brown sugar to keep it soft. Those really do work well. Even if your brown sugar has gotten hard, it will bring it right back to life. So I'm going to add my five cups of oats. And you'll have to press this out onto that cookie sheet. You're going to press it out after you mix it all up. This container is pretty much just about five cups. Get this all mixed in really well. You want all those oats coated with that mixture. Are you all staying warm? We're just a little chilly here. I have nothing to complain about with what everybody else is having to deal with. I know we had a lot of fires and stuff last week. I don't know. Things are crazy all over with this weather. I'm going to go ahead and add, this is about a cup of nuts. I'm going to add those, and then I'm going to add some of this craisin mixture, and this is the cherry and cranberry. And of course, didn't put them like I should. Let's see. I'm going to add about two cups of that. maybe. I don't think I want it too fruity. I'm really hoping this turns out the way it's... I just don't like that dusty granola. I mean, that's good as a topping. It's kind of weird to eat. It's like getting a handful of dust or something. idea with this is to have crumbles and this will go in a 325 degree oven for 30 minutes and you'll want to rotate your pan halfway through Spread it out. You'll want it in a thin layer. Well, not too thin, but and I too. Got to get your hands in there. I wonder if I should have done this in two sheets and spread it out. So push it together. And when it comes out, you'll want to let it cool on your tray. And after it cools, you can use a spoon or what have you to break it up. So I'm going to put this in the oven now. And I will come back when it comes out of the oven. And I'll be turning this halfway through. So I'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay, here is our granola out of the oven. And it worked. So I'm going to try and get this mat up. I think that will be the easiest way. And there you go. You have, it's still a little warm. So it'll get crunchier, but that's what I wanted. I wanted more of the clusters. So yeah, you can turn this into the size pieces you want. And I'm so glad. You can use parchment paper. I just, I really like these sill pats. They're reusable, so it saves me money. But there you go. There's your granola. And I'm pleased. Next time my measurements will be a little bit better and it's crunchy. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, just store this in an airtight container. And like I said, you can uh, flavor this any way you want. Coconut. I'm probably going to really like these edges. Those will probably be the crunchiest parts. So yeah, coconut, chocolate chips, chocolate chunks. Oh, you know what might be good is white chocolate chip and macadamia. I bet that would be good. You could do coconut and whatever you like with coconut. I'm not the biggest coconut fan. Peanuts, raisins. So yeah, and that's a going to be a good bunch of granola. So hopefully this will be good for my husband for the week at work. And hopefully he likes it. I like it. He likes nuts, so yeah. Looks good, so I hope you try the recipe. If you do, let me know how you like it. Next time I'll have everything measured and waiting so it's more cohesive to follow. But, uh, yeah, there's our granola, and I hope you guys try it. If you like the cluster granola better than the, you know, looser stuff like this all the time, give this a try. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you.